In today's video, we take a look at the Beyblade Burst Pro Series Chosey Veltriac. Check this. Hey there Bladers, Kiwi Blader here and in today's video we are taking a look at one of the three new Beyblade Burst Pro Series Beyblades. So the model we have today is the Chosey Valtriac. So the Beyblade boxes on these are actually really well styled. So they're actually trying to be as true as they can to uh, Takara Tomy style packaging and to try and replicate the Beyblades made by Takara Tomy. So here is our Chosey Valtriac in the middle and the new star launcher for the Pro Series. So on the back of the box is all the stats for the Beyblade. So you can see that this Valtriac is extremely powerful in terms of its attack. So it's got a really big amount of dots there. Uh, the burst um, will vary based on whether you can get the burst blockers out. Uh, this Beyblade doesn't have any defensive capabilities. It's extremely heavy, so that's a bonus as well. It's got a fair bit of agility, but I suppose it could be slowed down by its weight and the stamina ranking is one. So here is the exploded view of our Chosey Valtriac. You got the energy layer up here with the burst blockers, the weight disc underneath it, and the driver that is not actually the one for this. It's supposed to be an evolution driver, but I suppose in this one they have given it this driver, which is a bit of a shame, but I suppose it is what it is. If you do have some Takara Tomy parts around or an evolution drive from a Hasbro, you could probably fit this on to get it back to its original setup. Okay, Bladers, so that's a quick rundown on the box and the stats. Now we just need to take the Beyblade out of the packaging and have a look at it up close. Okay, now that we've got all the parts out of the box, we can actually have a closer look at the Beyblade. As you can notice from first glance, there is a very big difference between the Hasbro and Takara Tomy Beyblades. The Hasbro, however, has wrong combinations for the parts, whereas the Takara Tomy has all the correct parts. So over here on the Hasbro one, we have Blitz for the weight disc, and Zenith is the weight disc for the Takara Tomy. We have Luinor's Jolt for the Hasbro and the Evolution Driver for Takara Tomy. So there is a variation here between the bays. They have got the parts a little bit confused. That may have been deliberate for Hasbro, possibly on the sort of marketing side of things, but it's hard to know. However, if you're not too concerned by it, it won't really make that much of a difference. Um, if you do end up being a collector who wants everything to be correct, it shouldn't be too hard to find the correct parts. As for the layer though, it is neat to see that the Hasbro bays now include teeth. So instead of having the sloping mechanism, which was much easier to burst, the Pro Series has teeth. So they are going to be able to handle a lot more abuse and not burst nearly as easy. Also, the energy layers do have metal on them now, whereas the original Hasbro Beyblades, these were actually plastic. So that's going to make a massive difference in the look and feel of the Beyblade as well as the performance. The driver for this Beyblade is also now rubber. So instead of plastic, you've actually got more of a rubberized feel to the driver. So it is more true to the Takara Tomy release. The launcher is also a great addition now that the Beyblade launcher is very similar to the Has or to the Takara Tomy one. It actually has the activation pin under here. So if you do still have a Bay Logger, it is still usable. You can still use it with the app. It does connect to the Hasbro launcher and once a Beyblade is attached, the Ready Set Go lights do work. So you can still use a Bay Logger with these Hasbro Beyblades. The rip cord is very generic for the Hasbro or for Takara Tomy's Beyblade line. Uh, nothing much really changed there, but it's still neat to have a more robust rip cord. Do note though that when you open the box, there is actually a sticker sheet and an instruction booklet hidden in the back cardboard compartment of the box. So pay close attention to that because it is very easy to throw that away. Okay guys, so that is a rundown on the Beyblade. We'll put it together and then we'll take it for a test battle. Okay, battle test time. So on the left we have the Hasbro Valtriac and on the right we have the Takara Tomy Valkyrie. So we'll put these two Beyblades up against each other and see which one is the most superior. We'll do a points of three 
and we'll see at the end which one does the best. Okay, Chosey Valkyrie first, three, two, one, go shoot. And Hasbro Valtriac, three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, there we go, brutal hit from the beginning. It's kind of hard to tell which one is which, but I'm gathering the one in the middle is our Takara Tomi, which is taking the first hits, slowing down. And the first round goes to Hasbro. And on to round two, three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. All right, here comes Hasbro, chasing Takara Tomi as it moves into the middle. Hasbro circling around the Takara Tomi. Takara Tomi doesn't seem to hold on as well with its stamina. And there we go, Hasbro takes the win. Okay guys, third and final round. Can the Takara Tomi make a comeback? Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. All right, Hasbro's in the stadium last. It's now chasing Takara Tomi, which is taking the middle ground again. Hasbro is now pushing the Takara Tomi Valtriac out of the middle. Takara Tomi slowing down again. It's fading, and there we go. Hasbro takes round three as well. Okay, so that was a very interesting battle to uh, see the Hasbro beat down the Takara Tomi was very unexpected. I was actually expecting it to either be a very fair fight or the fact that the Takara Tomi would decimate the Hasbro. In the end, however, Hasbro seemed to have won. So to wrap up this video, I will quickly show you guys the QR code. So if you don't have this Valtriac yet, you can use it in the Beyblade app. There is the code for the launcher if you need it. So just pause the video and scan that in. And on the instruction manual is actually the code for the Beyblade itself. So there's the one for the app. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like. Let me know what you think of the Pro Series Beyblade so far. We have only reviewed one. There are two more to come though, so I'll review those shortly. But it'll be interesting to see what your thoughts are on these Beyblades, even though the combinations aren't exactly accurate to the Takara Tomi. Having the Takara Tomi type benefits in these Beyblades does make a rapid difference to the performance of the Beyblade and basically the feel and the vibes. But let me know what you thought. It would be great to know. And other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. KB out.